I literally hate getting these ultrasounds. I hate getting poked and prodded. I hate it. So hopefully I hear some good news today that I am about to ovulate so I don't have to get poked anymore. I hate it. It's the devil. Hopefully we get some good news today. Fingers crossed that I'm about to ovulate. Hopefully. It's I, right? Only. Yes. <laughs> okay. So a little cold and pressure here. And then I'm just gonna start out with your lining like always. Okay. Just check and make sure. Yes, lining looks great. Super thick. Not too thick, don't worry, just good thick. Yeah. Just to make sure I measure okay. it appropriately, but uh, that's really good. Good. Mobile pressure here, just to get that edge right. I just want to make sure I'm getting the whole follicle okay. right now. Oh wow. Yeah. It's huge. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so you're gonna take Avajol tonight. I okay. on Wednesday. I ordered it on um, Friday. Cool. And they said it wouldn't get until tomorrow. Okay, let me grab you one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did they said to ask you guys and you might have some. Yeah. Okay, yeah, for sure. Well I'll go look. I'm pretty sure we have at least one. Okay. Um and then if you don't mind just bring yours back for your eyes. Sure. Mm -hmm. Doing a nice little even exchange there. Yay! Mm -hmm. A good follicle. That's a baby making follicle. Yay! <laughs> yeah. It's on your right side. You gave it time to grow. Yeah. And that's the thing sometimes, just giving it a little extra time, even though it's riskier. Right. right so. I'm glad you checked. Thank you for checking the search. Yeah. Then, it stresses me out sometimes. I'm like, I don't want somebody to ovulate early. I know. And tell them to look, and you know. All right. Perfect. Yeah. So nothing too big going on on the left side anyway. And your okay. lining looks awesome. Your lining's like out of an eleven. So. So I hope you guys heard that last video. Um, this was back on Monday and today's Wednesday. So I just wanted to record that. I didn't, I felt awkward holding the video camera while she was like doing the ultrasound. So I just kind of put it on video and it was aimed up towards the ceiling. So I wanted to make sure you guys heard um, everything that was going on. So yeah, from what you heard, um, I had a really good, nice 28 millimeter by 19 um, follicle, huge, um, biggest she's ever seen in me. So her quotes were, it was a baby making follicle. So it was on my right side. Um, I'm pretty sure I ovulated today. I took the trigger shot. I was kind of debating on if I should or shouldn't just because when you do take the trigger shot, it does make you feel all kinds of symptoms, um, pregnancy symptoms, just any little thing. It, it does uh, some weird things to your body. So I really wasn't wanting to do that again, but I kind of did some um, thinking and I'm in a group of women on Facebook for PCOS and they all told me, do the trigger shot, follow your doctor's directions. Sometimes those follicles can um, burst. Um, so they said, you know, the trigger shot just ensures that you will be ovulating. So I took it uh, night before last, uh, Monday night. I took it Monday night. So 
fingers crossed that this works. Um, we just decided, she told us to kind of skip yesterday, but we didn't. We're, we're baby dancing um, every day for like this whole week. Just because before they had told us to skip days. I'm like, nope, I am every day we we're trying at this. So that way there's not a doubt in my mind, oh, we should have done it, you know, that night or whatever. So that's our plan. And I just wanted to fill you guys in on that. Um, two weeks. I got two weeks to wait. I'm pretty sure I'm ovulating today just because she said it does take 30, about 36 hours for the trigger shot to work. And I know that follicles can grow almost up to 30 millimeters and it was at 28. So um, I just, I've been, yesterday I had like a lot of sensitivity in my right ovary. If I touched it, it was like, ouch, it was very achy. But today I'm feeling it and I don't feel any aches or anything. So I'm pretty sure I ovulated today or late yesterday. I'm not sure. I think it was today. I'm just going to go by today. Um, so yeah, I have to wait another two weeks. It's so hard waiting those two weeks. I got rid of all of my pregnancy tests. I gave them to my friend um, who needs them. So I didn't really have any. I had just like 10 of the little strips. So I gave them to her just so I don't have the desire to want to do tons of pregnancy tests. Um, I'm going to try and wait exactly two weeks from today. So <sighs> it's going to be hard. <laughs> but um, I actually have to go to the store and buy them if I want to do it. So my husband, you know, he told me, he's like, just try and stay away from them because that was my biggest problem is last month and the month before I kept doing ovulation tests or um, pregnancy tests and they kept coming up with little faint lines and it really just, it's misleading. I know that those trigger shots have HCG in them so they will make um, pregnancy tests show up positive. You'll see a line, but it's weird because for some reason these shots stay in my system the whole like 14 days and I read that they're supposed to be out of your system within like a week. But for some reason, they stay in my system a lot longer. So um, that's why I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna wait two weeks. I'm gonna wait until the day before, the day after my missed period. So I'm going to try, and I'm gonna try and just forget about it and not read into any of my symptoms. Um, I just feel like it really can get to your head, and I just wanna keep it out of my mind. And that way, if I'm not, it's not a huge heartbreak letdown like last month. Um, it just broke my heart. So, fingers crossed that this is, you know, it'll work this month. Um, I think I'm just going to keep doing these cycles just like this. Maybe next month I'll do IUI. Maybe I'll try it. I don't know. I just, I really do not want to go to IVF yet. Um... I'm obviously ovulating on my own or I'm making good follicles on my own because I wasn't on any kind of Femera or any um, medications to help me ovulate. I made this follicle all on my own. The only thing that I did medically wise was I did the overdrill trigger shot. So I'm just going to try and go as natural as possible and yeah, I'm just not ready to, I'm not ready to do the commitment of IVF yet. So this will be my game plan for, who knows, I guess until I feel like I'm ready. I just don't feel like I'm ready yet. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for coming on this journey with me and for all the nice comments you guys give me. It just really means a lot. And for anyone out there that's trying to conceive just like me, you know, good luck to you. And, you know, we're going to get our baby soon. We really will. So I will do another video. Um in two weeks, I guess. Um, and I will for sure do a live pregnancy test and yeah, hopefully they come quick. <laughs> Those two weeks, are, they're so hard to wait that long, but it's just what we got to do, right? So I will talk to you guys soon and I hope you guys are doing good and good luck to you guys and thanks so much for following. Bye.